everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Bunny Tales, and today I'm going to be watching the movie 300 for the first time. I am watching this movie because my patrons voted for it, so if you guys have a movie that you would like me to see, there is the option of joining up on Patreon, and you can vote every month for any movie that you like. I want to thank everybody who's a part of that, whether you voted for this movie or a different movie. You are appreciated, and I wouldn't be watching some of these really awesome movies without your guys' input, so thank you for that. And without further ado, let's watch 300. Baby. Like old Spartans, he was inspected. If he'd been small or sickly or misshapen, he would have been discarded. He was baptized in the fire of combat. <laughs> Taught never to retreat, never to surrender. Never give up, never surrender. At age seven, the boy was taken from his mother and plunged into a world of violence. At seven? Ooh. To create the finest soldiers the world has ever known. It was his initiation. He would return to his people as Spartan, but not at all. <laughs> him in the choke point his fall perfect oh that's that's cool what a cool shot and so the boy returns to his people a king our king leonidas oh! it's been more than 30 years since the wolf in the winter cold so he's like 37 years old now a beast approaches it was king leonidas himself who provoked it. I love how dark and gritty this is. And like... Desaturated? It's definitely a artistic choice. I love the braided horse tails. I just love horses in general, actually. That fear is always a constant. But <gasps> she's... She's from Game of Thrones. Fight with your head. Then you fight with your heart. A Persian messenger awaits you. Councilman Theron, you found yourself needed for once. I like the uh, wardrobe choices of everybody involved here. <laughs> what makes this woman think she can speak among men? Because only Spartan women give birth to real men. She got him there. Xerxes conquers and controls everything he rests his eyes upon. All the God King Xerxes requires is this, a token of Sparta's submission to the will of Xerxes. Submission. Now that's a bit of a problem. Choose your next words carefully, Leonidas. Whoa, that's... It's like a painting. I suppose he's thinking about all the lives that will be affected by his decision of submitting to this Persian Empire. You insult my queen. You threaten my people with slavery and death. This is blasphemy. This is madness. This is Sparta! <laughs> so... This is where that comes from. I can see why that is iconic. Oh man, all of them too. All of them. <laughs> this is Sparta! <laughs> well, it looks like contrary to the other civil, like, empires out there, the women are held in higher regard here. They have a voice. He looked to her for guidance before he did it. She gave him a nod. Spartan women birth strong Spartan soldiers. My goodness. Welcome, Leonidas. We have been expecting you. Is this Lord of the Rings now? The Ephors. Priests to the old gods. Are they le lechers? Or le leprosy? What are they called? 
Anyways. What do you offer? Kinda looks like oh, Emperor Palpatine. We will use our superior fighting skills and the terrain of Greece herself to destroy them. And from there, we will funnel them into the mountain pass we call the Hot Gates. Just like with the wolf. We must consult the Oracle. I feel like I'm watching some kind of 90s alternative music video. Which is a good thing, <laughs> by the way. I just feel like I'm watching a moving painting. But the old wretches have the needs of men. Ooh. Ugh. Ugh. And souls as black as hell. Sparta will fall. Now he looks like Voldemort. <laughs> the king's climb down is harder. That is not what he wanted to hear. Oh my god. Like I said, a beautiful, masterful painting. The Oracle's words could set fire to all that I love. There's only one woman's words that should affect the mood of my husband. Those are mine. What must a king do to save his world? It is not a question of what a Spartan citizen should do. Nor a husband, nor a king. What should a free man do? I feel a little thirsty, sorry. Is this all of them? As you ordered. Three hundred. Three hundred. All born sons to carry on their name. Who already bore a son. We are with you, sir! Oh, jeez. For Sparta! <laughs> Don't yell at me! For freedom! <laughs> to the death! <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, I was getting to that part. <laughs> They're free to die because they have a replacement already born. He is your son. He is too young to have felt a woman's warmth. I have others to replace him. You are a good friend. But a better captain, there is none. My good king, the ephos have spoken. There must be no march. I'm here, just taking a stroll. Three hundred men are my personal bodyguard. I suppose I'll head north. What shall we do? What can we do? What can you do? What can you do? Kind of looks like an FMV video game from the 90s, too. <laughs> In some parts. Spartan! Come back with your shield. Or on it. Or on it? She wants a body to bury? Either victorious or dead. Oh, like not as a prisoner, not as a slave. It's Meagle? We heard Sparta was on the warpath. We were eager to join forces. But you bring only this handful of soldiers? I was wrong to expect Sparta's commitment to at least match our own. You, there. What is your profession? I'm a potter. What is your profession? Sculptor, sir. Sculptor. And you? Blacksmith. Spartans! What is your profession? <laughs> <laughs> One Spartan is worth at least five potters <laughs> probably more that is true though if i went out there to fight i would count as negative five people <laughs> we're being followed what happened here where are all the people behind us <laughs> They sure are well trained. They were quick with that. They came with peace from the blackness. Everyone but me. That's dark. The villagers! I found them. Oh no. Are they hanging up somewhere? Or their heads on Have the gods no mercy on spikes or something we are doomed they cannot be killed or defeated not these immortals immortals will put their name to the test 
Oh my goodness. Yeah, that checks out. I was gonna say, they're really building this up. It better be something crazy and... Yeah, that's pretty wild. Wouldn't have expected that. Into hell's mouth we march. Zeus stabs the sky with thunderbolts. Glory in it. <laughs> what a what a feast for the eyes this whole movie i like the narration and everything too many on our council would vote to give all we have and follow leonidas then you can arrange for me to speak to the council if it is reason they want i will let them know freedom isn't free at all that it comes with the highest of costs the cost of blood i will do my best to gather our council I'm in your debt. Even with all those ships destroyed, they still have a big army. I can beat our victory here. Why do you smile? Spartans are crazy ass motherfuckers. <laughs> That's why. I fought countless times. Yet I've never met an adversary who could offer me what we Spartans call a beautiful death. This guy just realized that he's fighting alongside a bunch of suicidal maniacs with a death wish. He's like, ah, shit. I am the emissary to the ruler of all the world. I demand that someone show me your commander. Didn't you hear what happened to the last messengers that came to us? Do you think your pathetic wall will do anything except fall? <laughs> Our ancestors built this wall, and with a little Spartan help, your Persian scouts supplied the mortar. You will oh. pay. Oh, I wanted to see that whip fly. Well, I guess it's flying, just in a different way. Run along and tell your Xerxes he faces free men here, not slaves. By noon this day, you will be dead men. Our arrows will blot out the sun. Then we will fight in the shade. Yeah, <laughs> got him. <laughs> Captain, have the men found any route through the hills to our back? Just past that western ridge. Persians could use it to outflank us. Who is he? I am Ephialtes, born of Sparta. Led my parents to flee Sparta. Yeah, because he was Best supposed to be. Discarded. Yeah, he would have been tossed away as a baby. I will earn my father's armor, noble king, by serving you in the battle. Raise your shield as high as you can. Oh, he can't. We fight as a single impenetrable unit. He would be a hole in the phalanx. A single weak spot. And the phalanx shatters. I am sorry, my friend, but not all of us were made to be soldiers. Got to admire his enthusiasm, though. You. Aww. You are wrong, Leonidas. Is he gonna come back to kick our ass? Earthquake. No, Captain. Battle formations. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. And we have 300 and some potters and a sculptor. And these shields, boys! The Persians have a completely different shape of shield. They can't even do the phalanx with those. Lay down your weapons! He laid it down. Come and get them. Hold. I'm enjoying this. The music, the testosterone. <laughs> oh. That's the best you can do. That is 
so good. They're just coming in one by one to get stabbed. And they can't surround them or flank them or anything. And then they just walk over their bodies. But there's still like hundreds of them. I like his helmet. Fringe. This is awesome. Whoosh. Damn, took his leg clean off. They look thirsty. Well, let's give them something to drink. To the cliffs. Oh, I thought they were going to give them blood. They're just going to throw them into the sea. Dang. Hell of a good start. <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> That's an understatement. That's just a fraction of the Persian army, though. Oh. oh my god, it's like a swarm of locusts or something. What the hell are you laughing at? We had to say it. Fight in the shade. <laughs> Damn. Those are some really strong shields. Hey. Okay. I'm I'm tired already just from watching this seeing this new wave of enemies just like damn <laughs> Can we go home already? Did they not lose a single soldier yet? Ooh, I don't like that Damn he went flying no prisoners, no mercy. A good start. <laughs> Meanwhile... You will speak before the council in two days' time. Theron wants what you control. Make him your ally, and you will have your victory. He seems to be a very loyal servant of Leonidas. Ah, there's your mother. The unfortunate if anything were to happen to him. Ooh. Or to his beautiful mother. That sounded like a threat. So back at home, our wifey is fighting her own battle. The Persians are approaching. A small contingent. I'll leave you in charge. Sire. Relax, old friend. If they assassinate me, all of Sparta goes to war. Pray, they're that stupid. Damn, he is. Fearless. There's no reason we can't be civil. It's us. None, sire. <laughs> okay. Whoa, look at this thing. Come, Leonidas. Whoa. Let us reason together. He's so... It would be nothing short of madness for you, brave king, and your valiant troops to perish. He's a giant, and his voice is impossibly deep. Consider the fate of your women. I might as well have marched them up here, judging by what I've seen. Oh! <laughs> it won't be long before they fear my spears more than your whips. He's putting his back to him just like, come on, kill me, I dare you. I can make you rich beyond all measure. I will make a warlord of all Greece. Such an offer only a madman would refuse. Unfortunately, I'm rather mad. <laughs> Slaughtering all those men of yours has uh, left a nasty crap in my leg, so kneeling will be hard for me. I will erase even the memory of Sparta from the histories. The world will never know you existed at all. The world will now know that, is a that threat. three men stood against a tyrant that even a god king can bleed. I love his, that guy's whole look, his, all his jewelry. 
his makeup. You fought well today for a woman. As did you. Maybe if I'm injured, you'll be able to keep up with me. Move it, man! Unless I miss my guess. Damn. We're in for one wild night. That is a lot of bodies. That's not even counting the ones that went off the cliff. Eyes as dark as night. We're fighting ninjas a now? Guard to King Xerxes himself. The deadliest fighting force in all of Asia. Xerxes has taken the bait. Spartans! Push! Immortals. How's he gonna he get up after that? Oh, we're losing some men here this time. These guys are a lot tougher. Oh. They have that that troll guy from Sekiro too. That was close. Ooh. Ah. Why do they look like that? gosh okay we're all we're all still have our heads for now i feel like one of the father-son duo is gonna get hurt at some point oh. Ooh. Ah. he can just keep using his arm after that Oh god, that was a very unpleasant sound. Oh. Uh. You need so much strength to cut someone's head off like that. And that guy's neck is like as thick as two people's necks at least. Achilles! No! Show us what is what we can do! Go, Potters, go! go! Go, Potters, go! Brave amateurs. They do their part. No! He's got his helmet back on. <laughs> this is so cool. Immortals. They fail our king's test. Every frame in this movie could be like a screenshot or like you could put it up, print it out and put it up on your wall as a poster. Dawn. Those behind cry forward! <laughs> nice narration. Are we on Tatooine? It's a giant rhino. Did they stop it with just that one spear? He did the Dark Souls roll. This guy knows what's up. <laughs> They fall by the hundreds. Birdman? King Xerxes is displeased with his generals. He disappears. Is he like a crab? Wait. I don't even know anymore. I thought he had little chicken wings, you know, like when you pluck a chicken. <laughs> I like this music. Oh my goodness. You still here? Somebody's gotta watch your back. No, now I'm a little busy. <laughs> I like these two. Nice friendly rivalry. So the Spartans look like these ancient like Greek or uh, the sculptures like David and all that stuff. It's like they're those put to motion and it's it's very beautiful. Astonos! My son! 
Oh, no! few but each failed is a friend or dearest blood yeah every death counts when your army is so small and you're such a tight brotherhood he goes wild blood drunk oh no remember your training he doesn't even have a shield the day is ours no songs are sung doesn't feel like a victory after that. What the hell? They got goat people? Oh, it's this guy. He went to the other side? The Spartans, too, were cruel to reject you. But I am kind. Everything you could ever desire, I will grant you. Embrace me as your king and as your god. Yes! Lead my soldiers. To the hidden path that empties behind the cursed Spartans. Ah. Yes, I want it all. And one more thing, I want to do the form. Done. Yeah. To get everything after he's been denied everything, I don't blame him. I feel like this whole movie is just trying to seduce me, and it's working. I'm told it's been arranged for you to go before the council. I need your help in winning votes to send the army north to our king. Leonidas is an idealist. You're an opportunist. You're as foolish as Leonidas if you think men don't have a price in this world. My little queen. I admire your passion. Hey, hey, hey. That's not right. Your husband fights for his land and his love. What do you have to offer? I can take a guess what he wants. I think you know. Damn, that... Okay. Oh, this is very uncomfortable. You will not enjoy this. Ugh. Helios, I trust that scratch hasn't made you useless. It's just an eye. God so fit to grace me with a spear. Leonidas! The hunchback traitor has led Xerxes' immortals to the hidden goat path behind us. This battle is over, Leonidas. This battle is over when I say it is over. Spartans, prepare for glory. Have you gone mad? I think he's been mad from the beginning, but only a madman could win this fight. Spartans never retreat. Spartans never surrender. There goes their advantage of the choke point. Godspeed, Leonidas. Damn, our potters are leaving us. And by Spartan law, we will stand and fight and die. I feel like if Leonidas asked me to fight by his side, I would do it. <laughs> and all will know that 300 Spartans gave their last breath to defend it. Oh, oh, oh. I have lived my entire life without regret until now. It's just that I never told him that I loved him the most. Aw, that's tough. You know, he acts all tough at the beginning of the movie. You know, my son is young, but there's others to replace him. But nope, those were just words. We can see that he was irreplaceable to him. Tell them my story. Make every Greek know what happened to you. Yes, my lord. Any message for the queen? be spoken hundreds leave a handful stay how many are leaving are they injured only one looks back or those are the ones that just don't want to stay anymore spartans ready your breakfast and eat hearty for tonight we dine in hell councilman i come to you as a spartan woman he's like she sure does <laughs> We must send the entire Spartan army to aid our king in the preservation of not just ourselves, but of our children. But most importantly, send our army for hope. Moving. But it doesn't change the fact that your husband has brought war upon us. 
She is a trickster in true form. What a slime ball. Just hours ago, you offered yourself Cut to Cut his me. balls off. My little whore queen. Oh! <laughs> Remove her from this chamber before she infects us further. Oh! This will not be over quickly. You will not enjoy this. Yes! I love her. Oh, he was paid by Xerxes. Oh, what a true Spartan woman. Speaking of a traitor, I was going to say, like, her spirit should be totally broken after being defiled like that and then having it being for nothing and for him to just turn on her like that most people would just be in shambles after that just so defeated but she just mm. you surely have turned calamity into victory <sighs> the god king has come to admire spartan valor use your language use your reason i beg you the lord of hosts is prepared to forgive all your victory will be complete if you but lay down your arms and kneel to holy Xerxes. The steady breathing of the 300 at his back, every one of them ready to die. His helmet is stifling. I love these narrated parts. I'm just like hanging on every word. Your spear? The Fialtis. May you live forever. What's he gonna do? What? He did not surrender to that wolf. He's got something up his sleeve. Stay out! Slaughter them! No! Don't! His helmet was stifling, but he must see far. Uh huh. His shield was heavy. Uh huh. It threw him off balance. Uh huh. And his target is far yeah. away. Yeah. Ooh. Didn't quite get him. Uh oh. Oh, we're falling. Well. He proved that the god can bleed. Oh, he's got arrows in him. Oh, no. This guy has no more fucks to give. Oh. His roar is long and loud. Man, this guy is shaken. My king. It's an honor to die at your side. It's an honor to have lived at yours. Aww. This isn't going the way I thought it was going to go. I really thought they were gonna do it. I don't know how, but. Remember us. Remember why we died. That was his hope. Should any free soul come across that place, go tell the Spartans passerby that here, by Spartan law, we lie. Time has proven him wise. But from free Greek to free Greek, the word was spread that bold Leonidas and his 300, so far from home, laid down their lives. Now, 
Sexy swords face obliteration! Let me see this army. Let me see. Get a stare now. Across the plain. At 10,000 Spartans! Commanding 30,000 free Greeks! <laughs> the enemy outnumbers a poultry three to one! Oh. Good odds for any Greek. Mm hmm. The victory! That was a rush. Well, thanks for the movie, guys. I gotta go take a cold shower now. Peace out. Just kidding. Or am I? I didn't know what I was expecting with that movie, but I wasn't expecting all of that. Like I probably said over and over again uh, when I was watching the movie, that was visually spectacular. I loved the art direction, the battle choreography, the camera work, the mood that they set with like the lighting, the coloration. It was very dark, very gritty, and it felt like they were very intentional with each and every shot to make sure that the lighting, the colors, the camera angle, everything was perfect for that shot. Like I said, I could take a screen cap of any frame of that movie pretty much and put it up on my wall frame it and put it up on the wall it felt like a painting coming to life for two full hours of delightful deliciousness the spartans looked like those majestic beautiful chiseled greek sculptures come to life fighting on the battlefield and speaking of those battles the choreography was amazing and and I don't think it was just the choreography, but the way that it was framed, the way that it was shot, the camera angles, the lighting, the slow motion, and just crazy adrenaline-filled testosterone goodness. And I really loved the costuming and makeup in this, not just because it shows the immaculate and pristine forms of the Spartans' bodies, but also I loved the, the garb that the females wore, like the queen. I loved her hair. And I also loved Xerxes' whole getup, all his jewelry, his makeup, especially his eye makeup, the gold eyeshadow, the cat eyes, his cape. I like that the Spartans had capes too. I'm, I've got a thing for capes. Capes are cool. Oh, and the music, especially in some places during some of those fights, it really gets you pumped up. I was a little bit taken aback by when it started getting like really heavy guitar, heavy metal sounding music, but it was perfect and it was awesome. Leonidas was a very compelling character, fantastic leader, very charismatic. I would follow that man to hell and gladly die at his side. If he gave me one of those speeches, I would be right there with him like, yes, <laughs> let's do this. And his queen was also a soldier in her own right, fighting her own battles. And when she was used and then tossed aside and betrayed, and defamed in front of everybody instead of giving up hope like most people probably would and fought back and it was amazing and I love her and she is a great actress. She was great in Game of Thrones and I see that she is also great here. She really plays this kind of strong regal character very well. And I really liked the other Spartan characters that we got to know a little bit as well. I can't recall any of their names, unfortunately, at the moment, but the two younger ones that had the rivalry, they were really fun to watch going back and forth. Kind of reminded me of like Gimli and Legolas. And then there was the dad and the guy who lost his eye, who was the narrator. Oh, and I can't not speak about the narrator because the, the writing and the narration I really loved that. I was hanging on every word and it was just really well done, very well written, very effective. That was so cool. That was that got me so pumped up. I want to go like stab something now. Anyways, now I put it over to you guys. 
What do you guys think about this movie? Did you guys like the reaction? And do you guys have any other suggestions of movies that you think I will like based on me liking this one? I would love to hear it. I would love to hear from all of you and thank you guys again for spending some time with me and I, I hope you had fun. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.